Well, I am so happy to have our next two guests joining us, Buck Sutton and Tyler Sutton, um, with Teens for Christ here in the Lima area. And I think of you so often, um, we talked before we started the interview here about um, the world events and, and just the importance of spreading the word right mm. now and leading others to Christ. And I know you have felt that, that's been your mission for a long time, Buck, but um, it's something that it seems to be at the forefront of many of our minds right now. Yeah, you know what? There's a lot of things happening in the world, but these are exciting times. Sure. You know, God is expanding His kingdom at a rapid, rapid uh, rate, and it's it's exciting. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, there's a lot of people accepting Christ right now. And of course, with us, we work with teenagers, of course, and and that's happening on a very fast pace right now. Yeah, around the world and right here in Lima. So that's what you're here to talk about, really, today is an event coming up. That's big right. Event. That's right. Converge 2015. We're so excited about it. You know, the heartbeat is bringing the local churches together, the local ministries uh, together to to worship one God. You know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and uh, to do it as the body of Christ, you know, uh, loving God and loving each other. And God is giving us a tremendous platform to do that. And uh, a lot of people are coming and getting behind it. Tyler, um, why is it so important for teenagers to do that, to get together? It seems like that's the mm. thing to do anyway, but in the name mm. of Christ, um, why why this event? Yeah, we see so much division, even in the body of Christ, a lot of different denominations and ministry sure. affiliations. And so we're like, can we do this conference where we can bring together, this year we're expecting over 100 different churches coming together um, as a body of Christ and worshiping together. And what's so cool about it is we're gonna have top-notch worship there. Um, the Digital Age will be there and Phil Wickham. And then we have uh, three phenomenal speakers coming in um, from different states all around uh, the U.S. And then we have some workshops for the kids to attend to. So the kids are coming to a conference where they can really um, engage um, with each other from people from different churches and then also learn a lot through different workshops. We have over 25 different workshops from all around um, the U.S., six different states, I think, people are coming in to teach these workshops here in Lima. Wow. So. All right. So um, I don't think we've mentioned the date yet, so we better do that. It's March 27th and 28th. That's right. right. Yep, okay. Friday, Saturday, and uh, two-day conference. And um, it's just going to be phenomenal. Um, the neat thing, what we like about it is this is a conference that you would really get in a big city. Um, and we're trying to do it right here in Lyme, Ohio. Yeah. And, uh, and, and where people, they don't have to travel very far, even though we do have people coming in from Texas and Florida coming into the conference, students coming in. And, um, but yet our local, you know, our local teenagers, it's right here, right in their hometown. So do you have a focus with this year's conference? Is there going to be a, a theme that you're going to really center the, the workshops around? Our theme this year is uh, We Are One. Okay. So really that rallying cry of coming together as a body of Christ like we were talking about. Um, but one of the big things that we do at, uh, at Converge is Operation Love Lima. It's mm -hmm. the big outreach that we do every single year because most people go to conferences and you have the worship band and you have the speakers and you know it's a typical conference. What sets Converge apart is that we have this Operation Love Lima where we go out into the community and be Jesus' hands and feet by serving. Uh, last year we distributed over 12,000 pounds of food to people in need all around the Lima community and we used different churches as host sites that we'd go out, the teens, all hundreds of teens would go out to these churches and they would go and uh, give out this food and use it as an avenue for the gospel. And we even saw salvations last year that people mm -hmm. that came back to the conference from the community and said, you know, I need Jesus. And mm -hmm. some really cool stories from last year is really exciting. Mm -hmm. oh, I bet. So um, when they're there at the conferences, when they go out or that's throughout the year after they've been to the conference? It'll be on Saturday. Oh, okay. Um, so it's, yeah, March 27th, 28th. So the 28th, that Saturday during the afternoon, we take about two to three hours and we go out in the community and we serve. Mm -hmm. That so. is really neat, yeah, to actually use it practically. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's not just talk. Yep. That's right. Yep. Great. You know, one of the fun things, too, is we're asking them to, to gather their own personal money together and spend it on people in Lima. You know, if that's, you know, going to the gas station, say, hey, we're going to pay for your gas. That's going to be happening. It, it converged this year. And that's exciting, you know. And uh, what's interesting is you hear all these bad things about, um, you know, teenagers and, you know, they're not good for this and not good for that and they're doing bad things. But you're going to see teenagers in here that um, they really care about their community. Yeah. They really do care about people that are in need and, and they're going to do that. Well, I think too, you know, I'm the daughter of a, or I'm the mom of a teenage daughter. <laughs> and, um, you know, I know that she, her heart is filled with love for others, but mm. she doesn't know sometimes how to use that love mm -hmm. practically. Mm. Um, and so this gives those teens the opportunity that mm -hmm. they're looking for That's and right. probably the ideas 
for the future. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's excellent. So how do people get registered? Well, we have a website called uh, convergemovement.com, okay. and they can uh, go to that website and, and register. And then, of course, uh, at our Teens for Christ office, they can uh, get a hold of us at Teens for Christ, um, and we can uh, register people. And we are already, I think, what, 50% uh, over what we were uh, uh, last year at this time with enrollment. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited about that. So you really need people to be making that phone call now to get registered because, yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. In fact, the price goes up, right? Uh, here yeah, in starting weeks. in March, it'll go up. Um, but right now, if they registered, so some people are like, hey, I can't go because I have a softball. Uh, tournament or something on Saturday. So we do have one ticket, uh, one day tickets available as okay. well, like a Friday only ticket or a Saturday only. And then the Phil Wickham concert on Saturday night, those that just want to go see Phil Wickham, that's adults, that's anybody yeah. that want to be a part of that can do that on Saturday night too, just by a uh, concert ticket only. Okay, wonderful. Well, Buck and Tyler, thank you so much for joining us and keep up the great work. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, back to you.